Welcome to learning how to use your new website. Using a new website can be daunting at first, but it's very easy to keep going. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look up here and we're going to see that we have the name of the website already started because we're on it. We're going to do a forward slash and we're going to type in wp-admin. This will bring us to a login screen and that login screen will have a username and a password. So what I'm going to do now is type in my username. I have it already saved up here so it automatically pops up. And we have a password. I'm going to type in my password. There we go. And we're going to hit login. Login will make this pretty easy. So there you have a background. This is the dashboard. We call the dashboard. It lets you get into any section of the website that you'd like to be at. Uh, you can see here there's some stuff along the top. It says welcome or howdy to me and uh, goes on from there. So looking down the dashboard you have the home which we're on. Uh, this is a place for updates and this will when you type in the updates it'll take you to a page like this right here and you can see what could be updated we really don't have to worry about any of this uh, it was last checked on June 13th 2014 so it's it's relatively very new uh, you have posts so these are where you can write a post uh, if you want to have an article or something written and we have all of our articles that we have right now written right here the newest one will go on top and you have add new there's categories etc you have the media this is where your pictures or video can go into pages which is the page section let me go here to this we can just type in this and use this as the website again so when you type in a new article that new article will go right here in the tips and tricks section okay we go back to here the pages are the pages we have on the website those are located right here along the top we have those then you have comments from people that have sent you comments you can from here you can approve them unapprove them reply do an edit on them or whatever uh, the portfolio is the middle section and I have that set up here right underneath the this text and you can find that these are right here that's the portfolio section that I have set up services we're not using the slides we're using this is to add a picture and the slide section is this section right here you want to keep these pictures all the same size so you may have to do some editing with some your own software this is where you can get your newsletters see your subscribers and make settings the appearance you really don't need to touch this but this, this is where you would make changes in your widgets section let's take a look at widgets because that's going to be the most important thing you'll have to look at we have a visual editor here and this is where I've placed this section here and you can see that on uh, like the interior pages of the website the first one that you look at we'll go to this page it's right here so that's where they get that information from and then in your wiz widget section you see footer one two three and four that places these items along the bottom I only have one set up right now but this is where those go and they'll be in four columns right along here 
that's all there is to widgets. Plugins, you don't have to worry about. The rest of this is users, tools, settings. You don't have to do anything with the rest of that. I've already taken care of it. So if you have any questions, uh, just feel free to give me a call. And I'll have the number posted below. And you can give me a call and find out what's going on. Thank you. Bye.